one of the most overlooked aspects about fishing is just about anybody at any time has the potential to set a new record. It might not be a uh, world record or even a state record, but body of water records, catch and release records, they're, they're attainable. I'm actually going to start it off with a, a little bit of a backstory here. And uh, anyway, the, a couple of years ago, I was fishing at, at Brackenridge Park. Uh, back when I first started the YouTube channel, the video of the fish is probably on there somewhere on this channel. I can't personally find it. It's on there somewhere. Uh, if I was even recording, because back, at the, back then I didn't even have a, a camera to record. I did everything on my phone. So there was a lot of stuff I did that wasn't recorded. But I caught a, uh, a Texas cichlid, a Rio Grande cichlid, that was 14 inches long and about two and a half to three pounds. It was, it was huge. But I mean, it was a cichlid, nobody really thought, nobody really thinks about those as anything special. So I didn't, I actually kept it and ate it, which that's not something I do for any fish anymore, really. Uh, occasionally I'll keep something, but mostly I'm catch and release now. But at the, at the time, this is back when I first started out, I actually ate the fish. It was 14 inches, almost three pounds. And uh, after I ate it, of course, and I didn't have it, and I, I kept it, which, you know, if I had kept it intact, it would have worked out, but I didn't do that. After I destroyed it, I, I looked up the more information about that species of fish and I, I found out that the, the world record is 11.1 inches and 2.02 pounds. So I, I, I beat the world record with this fish and I, I ate it. I didn't even think about turning it in as a record. So that, since then, that's always kind of been on the back of my mind. And uh, I just, yeah, it's always bothered me. It's always been in the back of my mind. But I, uh, that's, I really want to uh, I try to make up for that. And uh, so I've had this idea for a while, digging around on the internet and stuff. I found that you there's actually a way to... Uh, submit catch and release records to Texas Parks and Wildlife and uh, they are you take a picture of the fish on a tape measure a lot like the way I run my tournaments and stuff and uh, there, there's a lot of really strict rules around it but the gist of it is is the, you need to have a witness there somebody there with you and for state records or anything bigger than just Water body records, you need to have it notarized. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, so I'm gonna try to actually have it notarized anyway, even if, uh, regardless if it's a state record or water body record. And uh, yeah, there's, there's, it's a long process. You have to submit it, uh, print out the form, fill it out, send it in, print out the pictures and all that. Uh, I wanted to go for a cichlid record, uh, and the catch and release record for the San Antonio River on cichlids is, it's only, it, at the time it was nine inches, but on August 1st, somebody actually broke the record. Somebody submitted a new record and it's still under 10 inches. It's 9.84 inches for the cichlid. And uh, the bluegill record is 10 inches even, but there's no, that's it. That's all the catch and release records there is. It's just bluegill and cichlids. So I've been looking in to uh, uh, see what it would take to get another fish in there. And uh, yeah, basically you have to meet the big fish award uh, requirements to submit it as a possible catch and release record. So that's what I want to do. I want to try to either to break the cichlid record or set another record on a different kind of a fish. And uh, the Guadalupe bass is probably going to be the easiest for me to do because I just have to catch a keeper-sized guad. Now that's 
not very easy to do around here. Quads don't get very big. The world record for Guadalupe bass is about three pounds. Uh, the state record, catch and release record for a guad is 18 inches. But there's not a record for the San Antonio River at, at this moment. Uh, so all I got to do is catch a keeper size, a 14 inch Guadalupe bass, uh, or a 16 inch spotted bass, or a 21 inch largemouth, which I have caught actually a 20 to 21 inch largemouth out of the river before but that is it's almost unheard of around here in this river so spotted bass and guadalupe bass are plausible that's doable the largemouth bass is a bit more of a stretch i mean it can be done if, you, if, I, if I wanted to travel a little bit out of town i could do it uh, i have actually caught the one i caught that was about 20 inches was actually in the center of downtown so they're, it's, they're around here, it's just few and far between. So I'm really specifically going to be targeting quads and maybe cichlids. cichlids. So, uh... try to go for my record I've already shot an intro to this video uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that intro even though I shot it like two months ago um, I don't know when I'll ever finish this video if I'll ever finish this video but here I am I'm out here I'm trying to go for a body of water record catch and release record we're gonna see if I can get one all it's gonna take oh well there was a bass right there a little one that wouldn't have been a record for sure though uh, it's going to take a 14 inch guad which I just caught two a little while ago on other baits for another video and uh, they were the bigger one was maybe 10 inches so a 14 inch guad, 16 inch spotted bass or a 21 inch largemouth is what it's going to take to get a record here uh, or there's some other fish that aren't even on the record list uh, the Rio Grande Cichlid is out there. If I can catch a 10 inch one, that'll break the record. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, that was the lamest hook set and catch I've ever done. Like he took it, caught me off guard. So I tried to set the hook and he came flying out of the water when I tried to set the hook and the bounce threw him back out in the water. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got him that time. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's as big as that other one, but I got him. I'm going to water ski him in here. It's a little one. Oh, it's not a guad this time. It's a little spot. Maybe a little large mouth. There we go. Got him that time. Oh, it's the big, nicest fish of the day. What do we got? Is it a guad? It's a guad. Don't think he's 14 inches though. More like 10. Uh, let me see here. It's roughly 10 and a half inches. So, yeah, there we go. A nice little wad. Not what I'm looking for. But four and three and a half inches short. Four inches short. Well, I set out to do this this uh, challenge or to accomplish something here on August 1st, I think. And uh, it's now October 20th. And there's something swimming hauling down that way he just kind of turned changing directions I can't reach him now I tried to throw but I ended up throwing him behind throwing it behind him he's still moving that way he's just tear, tearing a wake all the way down the river but anyway there was a bite 
I started doing this August 1st. It's October 20th. Uh, no telling how long it's going to take me to catch this particular type of fish. There's a fish. Um, it's definitely not a record. Um, oh, he slipped off. Oh, he set himself free. Cool. I was kind of worried about him there, but he's good. Anyway. Uh, I don't think that was a quad either. I think that was a spot, which a spotted bass would have to be 16 inches. Uh, I need to keep checking on these records because since I started the video, when I started the video, the record for a cichlid was, was 9 inches. Now the record was actually set um, the day I started the video, I think, or around that time, but it wasn't confirmed until a little while later. Uh, but it's now 9.84 inches. And there's another fish. Back to back casts, a little bit one. This is another little spot, maybe a little large mouth. Can't really tell right now. It's not a quad. Spotted bass have to be 16. Gua uh, quads have to be 14. Or large mouth would have to be 21. So nobody's actually set any kind of record for bass yet. It's just bluegill and cichlid. There's, oh man, there the bite just picked up all of a sudden right now. I'm getting bites on every cast. Had two back back to back fish there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nicer one. Yeah. What do we got here? Whoa. This is the nicest one of the day. It's a quad. It's a very pale colored quad. Uh, ow! <laughs> Stuck me with his fin there. He's not 14 inches. I'm going to say this is another 10 inch. It's a little fatter and heavier than the last one was. Oh, yeah, this is about an inch bigger than the last one. This is uh, it, it'll about 11 and a half. 11 and a half. I don't know what I just said there. Not a bad dead fish. It's kind of pale. The other ones are all a little bit darker. 11 and a half inches. I'm, I'm two and a half inches short. So it is definitely attainable because that's that's already three fish today that were within three inches of the record. Or, well, not the record, but the size I need to submit for a record. So it's definitely an attainable size. And I have caught quads out of this river that bigger than that before but i never thought about submitting them before so we'll see what we got here maybe i can get a couple more before dark one of them's bound to break that, that barrier let's see here before i leave it's getting dark Usually means a uh, buzz bait or something that's gonna make some noise. Let me see. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. That's a nice one, that's a nice one. On the whopper plopper right at the last minute. Like, uh. I mean, it's not a monster fish, but it's the best of the day. Let's see, what do we, oh. What do we got? Oh, it's a quad. This, whew, definitely the nicest fish of the day. Fattest fish of the day for sure. I think he's got the inches. gonna be hard to do without hooking myself but let's see okay okay I got that one out oh I don't like that <laughs> let's try something real quick please don't start shaking
there we go, came out. Okay, this is definitely the nicest quad of the day. Get myself a, I think this is, it's not gonna be the 14 that I'm looking for, but, uh, let's see. Oh uh, man, it's so dark you guys can't even see it probably. Ooh. It's 13. I missed it by an inch. Literally. Came within an inch came within an inch of my goal today. This is really close to it, but something massive just jumped out there too. Right when I took the picture. There we go. One inch away from my goal. I'm not even sure if you guys can see him. No, it's too dark on my screen here. Maybe I can brighten it up in the editing, but one inch away. My personal best in the river, which was a little bit further down at a spot of the park, uh, I believe it was 3.23, 3.25. It was a large mouth and uh, my biggest personal uh well, my personal best quad was i think 1.75 i didn't get a length on it 1. but 7. that was also further down that way <laughs> uh i believe it was on a brush hog and brush for the large mouth it was on a i think a white paddle tail pretty mm -hmm. sure it was a white paddle tail i think i've caught two maybe at 20 a little bit above 20. Yeah. but even then that was back when i didn't even measure the fish i just weighed them and that was like three pounds Maybe like almost three pounds more. Yeah. So, did, you didn't get any kind of a length on the quad or the largemouth that you've caught out here? No. Uh, only in that tournament that I fished, your one mm -hmm. of your first tournaments, and that was 14 inches. Mm -hmm. So that there it is right there. <laughs> uh, I've also caught bigger, and I, I didn't measure that one. Yeah. yeah. I had to get out here for a few hours today. The yeah. Conditions are super nice. The water's finally a little bit clear. This this river's never really that clear, but today yeah. is pretty good. My personal best is only four, and that and that I've been fishing for a while too, and that was at a pond far, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, over there on. Uh, and Buda. Yeah, Buda. Buda. Yeah, and that's it. I, I haven't been able to break my PB, but honestly, I fished this river maybe like eighty-five percent of the time, so that's yeah. kind of probably why. Maybe I just suck. I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to have a quad record. That'd be awesome. That's my yeah. favorite fish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they just don't get very big. No. What, the, world, the world record on that's only three pounds. They fight hard. Like, oh, yeah. I imagine like a smallie. I haven't caught a smallie either. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to go up to Canyon Lake for that. Yeah. We we went one time. We fished the stick-ups. Caught a few good ones, but all largemouth. Mm -hmm. No smallies. <laughs> that, uh, that first day, I was really out trying to set the record. I didn't. I caught one that was like 13 inches. You couldn't really see it on the video. And... Uh, uh, just the bite was just on it hasn't there hasn't been this good of a bite lately since springtime summer was just dead the fish didn't want to bite anything and now that it's fall and the weather's cooling down the water's cooled down some the fish are coming out and they're really active right now so uh, with that I wanted to go out and find a spot where there was just a lot of fish and uh, while I did that
that one right there. Let's see what do we got here. Not a quad, so he's not a record either. But. I think this is a spot, but he got all three of the trebles in his mouth. Oh, wow. I just looked over and there's like a spider or something running across the surface and they just blew up on it again. He's gone. Blew up on him twice there. So the top water bite's definitely on for today. Hopefully you got that second little pop there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a cichlid. Got him. Got him. It's a nice cichlid. <laughs> Calm down. That's a good cichlid. I don't think he's the record. <laughs> but there we go. Ah, Look at that, he is exactly nine inches on here. This is, this is the old body of water record right here. This is a nine inch cichlid. The current record is 9.84. So, and this is really just average for here. This is nine inches, 984 is the record. So pretty much anything about an inch bigger than this is a record. So let me get him released there. And he's swimming all fine. I was not actually expecting to get a cichlid on, on the types of baits that I'm using today, so that worked out pretty cool. Now, I just tied the old record, but that's not what I'm looking to do here. Didn't actually break a record, but I did tie the old record for a cichlid, and uh, that was actually kind of interesting. I was standing there fishing under the bridge, and I just heard a quick little splash next to me over under this tree and I look over and you can see a spider scurrying across the top of the water and while I was watching him something popped on it again and then a couple seconds later just he just disappeared something ate him so I tossed the the grub I was using under there and uh, as as I was retrieving it you just see this black shadow come out from under the tree following it and uh, it really didn't look like it was all that big uh, when it came out, but I guess it's really an average size. But uh, uh, once it came out into the light and I could see what it was, I realized it was a cichlid. And by the time I realized what it was, it had already chomped on the on my grub, so brought it in and ended up just falling just short of a record. Uh, I probably should have got a more uh, exact measurement on it because it's, it's still pretty close to the record, but I, the quick measurement on it, it wasn't a definite record, so I went ahead and released it. But I screwed up there by uh, because I didn't take pictures of it and all that. I could have still gotten the uh, Big Fish Award on it, even if it wasn't a record. So I, I released it prematurely, I guess. That day I probably caught 20 fish, it was a really good day, a lot of bites, but I didn't come close to the record. The closest I came was maybe an 11 inch bass. I came close to the record on the cichlid, but I didn't, I didn't set any records. I think if I'm going to set a record for this river, it's going to be this time of year, fall. Cause it's just like I was out yesterday and it didn't matter what I was throwing, the fish were just eating everything. So I think that's that's going to be the key to getting the record here is the time of year. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be soon.
Oh wow, I got one. What do I got there? Oh man, nice quad. Thing's a little short for the record. Nice quad. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be about 11 inches right here. That seems to be about my average. They're between 9 and 11. Let's see. Oh, I got that just over just under 12 inches so this is uh, the closest I've come so far since I started this video no I take that back I had a 13 inch this is a 12 inch Whoa. and off he goes oh there we go oh my god that's a Oh my God, that's, that's a good one. Looked a lot bigger from over there. Oh my God, this might be it. Oh, it slipped off. Uh, just, uh, no, nope, you ain't going away. Man, he's fat, but he might be, he's a little short. And he looked a lot bigger the way he was jumping around. Jumping around and fighting over there. It looked a lot bigger. Let's see. Oh. Oh, man. So close. This looks like it's going to be a 13 and a half. I need to find a flat rock here. This. Supposed to be 14. Yeah, he's he's right at 13. It's right at 13. Yeah. That's man, I thought this was gonna be it. My witness is here. What's so, up? If you come further furthest to the right, it's a little bit smoother, and then you can come across right here. I think. Or if you want, I'll just go up there. <laughs> oh, I might have to inter interview you too for the, for the video. Because I'm doing it more like a documentary than my typical YouTube videos. Every time you interview me, I always give you a different voice too. All right. Well, I tell you this, man. That uh... what the hell? Is that the cat you're talking about? No, that looks like a flag or something. I didn't see it until it actually came up. Yeah, I didn't see it there either. Oh, oh man! I had a fish there too. I just been all this time trying to fuck her. <laughs> That's how it goes. Damn it! You got it? Yeah, I got okay. it. Okay. Well, lucky you. You want a chopper? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I still got my skinnies. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it's just frust frustrating that I put a brand new one on and then it gets pulled off. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't that. The rocks aren't that bad. It's probably other shit. Yeah. I can jig it. There we go. Oh, jigging it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little quad. That looks like, what, about nine inches? Yeah. Told you on the grub. <laughs> I, yeah, I was jigging it like I said. I wish I yeah. could jig it. 
Damn, let me take a picture of you quick. One of us is going to have a record by the end of this video. It stopped raining finally. Uh, the weather stabilized. The water cleared up. The water level went back down. So, you know, with, with that day I had catching all those fish under that bridge, I wanted to go do it again. So I went to another bridge and I was there for a while. I caught two 13 inch fish. Well, a 12 and a 13. And before you, Greg even got there, Greg got there and met up with me. And we fished there for a little while, got a couple more bites. He caught one that was like a nine. And then we decided to move to another spot. Uh, don't matter. I'll probably be moving around. <laughs> oh look, somebody put something for you to step on. <laughs> oh look, something splashed over here and then the bird flew off. Damn, you didn't bring your machete on you? I carry mine in my truck, but I never carry it, bring it out with me anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The. <laughs> When we got to the spot, it ended up being the same spot I was at the first segment when I caught the 13 at night. And uh, we get there, but it's on, there's steps going down to the river. And there's only room for one person on those steps. So Greg went down and started fishing, and I moved over to the side and started clearing out some of the brush. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm supposed to get the record, Greg. Somebody's getting the record here. <laughs> this is fine, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. What is that? Nothing, man. I barely worked it you got me. Yeah. I don't think it's a quad. I think it's like a largey or maybe a spot. Yeah, get out of there. He's out, he's out. Oh, it is a quad, dude. Big ass quad. You son of a bitch. It's supposed right. to be my record, Greg. Yeah. He's fat. This thing is huge. That's gonna be the one, dude. That's it. That's. Should have brought my landing net. Got you. God damn, this thing's huge. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> asshole. <laughs> We're not submitting yours. Look at that monster. Look at that monster. God damn. That's bigger than 14, too. Let's get it up here. When I said one of us was going to get the record, I meant me. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even get a cast out yet. Let me see what we got here. Dude, that's... What is it? 16, oh. at least. The state record catch and release is 18. Uh, get on the concrete, it'd be easier. Yeah. Me. Look at that one, look how fat that one is. And the hook just came out. Uh-huh. All right. Get the fucking... <laughs> Gotta pinch the tail and all that. Should've... I got exactly 16. <laughs> uh, now we gotta get yeah, pictures of you holding it. Um, I think yeah, we got it. That's good, right? I think we got substantial pictures here. Alright. But they also want pictures of you holding it. Yeah. I need to weigh this thing. This is huge. I didn't bring my scale, did you? Yeah, it should have in my bag. Battery low. What kind of batteries? Triple A, right? Yeah. Doubles. 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 Triples. Triples. I got nothing. Actually, sometimes just moving them around like that will 
I'm gonna get give it enough to turn on. Right. That look. that's at least that's two pounds. Got some good picks, you said it. All right, get one of your yeah. phone too. Just that's that's two pounds for sure. Oh, this is your phone. <laughs> Thank you for letting me catch you. Stole my record from me, man. Yeah. At least it wasn't a Don. <laughs> I don't know. You might be even worse. <laughs> Thank you. Because cause with Adam, I could count on him right. doing something wrong and not being... Oh, man, there's another one right there. That just made up. Look. There's like three of them right there. These, that, they're not as big as that one, but there's. Dude, there's a ton of them around right here. Should have came here earlier, damn. Probably the last big fish to catch for a while out here. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Have you ever seen anything that big out of this river? Not a guad out here that big. Mm -hmm. Seen plenty of largemouth good size out here but uh, never a guad. As many times as me and you fished out here, and that's probably third or fourth biggest fish I've seen out of this river. A lot of small ones though. I feel good about it. I feel good Amped that up. it actually was able to bring it in and release it uh, just fine mm -hmm. back into the water. Um, hopefully come back here in the spring and catch it again. <laughs> this is the first time I ever tried submitting for a record uh, since he uh, tried this challenge out yeah this is probably my fourth time trying to beat get to that record but uh yeah sometimes it's lucky but how many times have you actually beaten a record before but wasn't submitted um uh, i couldn't tell you because i never actually looked them up before hmm? well actually no take that back we beat that galavetta's uh catch and release red a few times a few <laughs> times in one day yes <laughs> but that's how it goes. Yeah. The, and only, the only regret I have about this fish is we couldn't get a weight on it. Yeah, a weight would have been nice, but I'm I'm I would not be surprised if that fish was two and a half pounds. That thing, as fat as it was, it was a minimum of two pounds. Oh yeah. So now we got to wait and see what happens. So what were you using? Um, I can show you. <laughs> Your most basic of lures here. Nice little grub. The lure that comes with every rod and reel combo that you could buy. Mm-hmm. Most well, basic of basic here. Same color I was using too, except mine's got a black black stripe down the back. Slightly bigger hook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wasn't too bad, also an ultralight. Yeah. What type of a technique were you using? Uh, jig and a jig. Jig and a jig. Jig and a jig. Uh, so. <laughs> Real slow movements or? Uh, just slow, subtle movements. Nothing uh, too erratic, especially <laughs> this time of year. Water's starting to cool off more. Fish will start getting a little more lazier. They don't want to just jump out and bite something. But uh, yeah, it's your basic jig technique. <laughs> if you didn't know any better, you'd probably think it was a smallmouth. Actually, uh, I couldn't really see. Was it brown or green? Well, we got the picture here. So. <laughs> Because if it was brown, then it's not a record quad. Well, I mean, there's no record on smallmouth either. No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> but if it is a smallmouth and you caught like the only one in this river, then that's good news for me because I can still go for the quad. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Now I got to change up my tactics and figure out how I want to go about this. <laughs> well, good luck with that. But, you know, I did just think about something kind of interesting with these uh, record quads is uh, they're all on ultralight or fly fly tackle. The world record's on a fly rod. The state catch and release record is on a fly rod. And yours right now was on like the smallest jig possible and on ultralight, so. <laughs> Maybe that's the key to catching guads. All right, so as you see there, uh, I'm not the one who caught the record fish, it was Greg. Uh, at this point, we've already filled out the paperwork. Uh, he's got all the pictures, he's gonna ship it out, send it to the, to the uh, inland fisheries to see if they can verify it. 
And for right now, it's just a waiting game to see if they, if they verify it for us. I'm kind of curious to see what, because they never mention anywhere on the website, like, what happens when you're verified. Like, do they send you a plaque, or do they, do they even tell you anything, or do they just update the website and kind of forget about it? So that's what I'm interested to find out, what's going to happen there, if it even gets verified. Uh, I know in the video we were saying it was a 16 inch, but if you actually look at the parts where we measured it, I mean, I guess maybe we just got excited and for whatever reason we were reading the tape measure wrong, but it wasn't 16 inches, it was actually 15, almost exactly 15, which is still an inch longer than it needed to be. So it's still an attainable record, even if Greg gets this record, it's, it's still within reach, you can still break it. So that's what... I'm going to keep trying to do it, uh, but as far as this video goes, we're just going to focus on this, this record here. We need, you know, like I said, we're just going to be, it's a waiting game now to see if it's verified, and I don't know when they're going to get back to us about it, so uh, it might be a couple of months before this video is even finished. I can't imagine it taking more than a month. Uh, should just be a couple of weeks. We'll see. And uh, Greg caught the fish on October 29th. And I signed off as a witness on it. I uh, started doing this video on August 1st. Uh, trying to get either the cichlid or the quad record. And uh, somebody broke the, the uh, cichlid record the day I started this video. It ended up getting verified a couple of weeks later, so I wasn't aware of it when I started the video. And then from August 1st to October 29th, it's almost three months, and Greg catches the record the the record size fish. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm I was out here shooting a product review here today on this little telescopic rod and I just got a phone call from Greg so I'm gonna go back up and meet him ironically I'm actually fishing the exact spot where he caught the bass that quad and uh, he got something in the mill today so we're gonna go check it out all right Greg's got something here Break the mail. got something in the mail Catch and release water body record. I came in quicker than I thought it would. Is there something else in there too or no? No, that's it. Yeah. Are you sure? Because the one you sent me on the phone said big fish record. Oh. The back? oh no, it's uh, in the back. I got another one in here. Oh yeah, so there's two in there. It's two. So you got two awards. You got the big fish award and the catch and release record. So yeah, there you go. It's official. You do get the water body record. That's the big fish award. 1525 wow so we they actually gave you a quarter inch from what we mm -hmm. said actually i put a little bit more but they actually added on from what i actually yeah. wrote yeah we put 15 flat no i, I put i actually uh, wrote down oh, just a little bit more mm -hmm. but they actually gave me more than i put that's a quarter inch yeah i didn't even put the quarter inch <laughs> oh it's a little windy today oh no it blew away <laughs> catch and release water body record the official seal. Rod and reel. Signed by the program coordinator. What uh, day did we send that in? We sent that, you mailed it. We caught the fish on the, or you caught the fish on the 29th, October the, 29th. The day before opening day was uh, the, I believe the 4th of this month, right? November 4th. That was okay. Friday, right? I think so. I'm not that was the day I mailed it out. You mailed it off, mailed it out the day before opening day for hunting season? Yes. Okay. And then what is today? Is the uh, 18th, 19th? Yeah, the 17th, I believe. Is it? Yeah. No, Today's the 19th. 19th. So there you go. From, it took two weeks to hear back, and it's, it's certified. You've got the, the water body record. If you want to break a record, first you tell your friend to go that way and go to the clearest spot possible while he has to be cleaning out the brush and stuff. 
<laughs> and then while he's doing that, just throw in some cash pretty quickly. And I can guarantee you, you'll get a record out of it.